guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a spooky Q&A. In honor of Halloween, I thought, what is spookier than answering you guys' questions? I asked you guys on my Instagram, if you're not following me, make sure you go follow me at emilynels8. I told you guys I was doing a spooky Q&A and to ask me some spooky questions. You guys delivered. You guys are so cute. I love you guys a lot. I hope you know that. And I have a spooky phone case and I have an iced coffee. But before we did this q and I had to go and get a nice coffee and I was gonna go get like a nice little pumpkin spice latte from my favorite cafe what you guys saw was me going to the cafe it is so cute it's a French cafe but they have like really good coffee and they went all out for Halloween when I was there the other day they played the boo to you like the Disney Halloween parade the whole soundtrack this coffee shop is so cute so I thought I would get a pumpkin spice latte but they were all out of pumpkin so I got an iced creme brulee latte and she added a little bit of cinnamon to give it that spice so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go on over to my Instagram and let's start answering some questions. So first question, since Florida doesn't have seasons, what makes you feel most in the fall spirit? Love you. I love you too, Jess. This is a really great question because it has not felt like fall to me up until I think last week. What I just like to do is candles. If I can't feel like it's fall, then I can make it smell like it's fall. So I just have bought like a ton of like pumpkin candles, harvest candles, all that stuff and that makes me really happy what's a good show you've been watching recently recently my binge show is one tree hill i've watched it before but i am watching it again and i just love it i'm on season three watching the show i've realized i'm definitely a Haley. my personality has like a little bit of brooke and a little bit of peyton if you guys have seen that show comment down below what character you're most like i'm definitely a Haley looking for my nathan is Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween or Christmas movie? I think it's a Halloween movie 100%, even though it's all about Christmas. I think it's a Halloween movie. Because, like, the soundtrack is, like, this is Halloween. Like, I listen to the music when I want to get into the Halloween spirit. Favorite Halloween costume from your childhood? Okay, so, as a child, I really killed it on the costumes. I'm pretty sure I was Hannah Montana one year, probably every form of princess you can imagine. One that I remember is I was Sleeping Beauty, and even though I look nothing like Sleeping Beauty, I just really wanted to be her because she has a pink dress. And I, like, can remember that dress very vividly. So, probably that one. I don't remember my Hannah Montana costume, though. I remember having the wig. Oh, I think I also was Sharpay one year because I had the blue like bop to the top dress. Guys, I did it all. Do you get scared living alone? I actually don't. My biggest fear is that someone has been living in my apartment this whole time and I just didn't know and they've just been like getting away with it. So every time I hear a noise, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the secret person living in my apartment. But no. <laughs> so a lot of you guys wanted to know if I have any like spooky experiences or paranormal activities and I wish, well, no. I don't wish that I had one because that stuff freaks me out. Like my biggest fear is probably like ghosts and anything paranormal. It's my biggest fear, but it's also something I'm like super duper interested in. My mom does. She has like a bunch of ghost stories she would always tell me. Well, that was spooky. I don't have any experiences. I don't want to have any experiences, but I do find that really interesting. So if you guys have any spooky experiences with like ghosts or aliens or anything, please comment down below. I want to read your stories. You can tell ghost stories in the comments. I think that guy, that man is just doing laps around the, I'm in a parking garage but that was really scary. Someone asked who exactly does my nails at Embellished. By the way, guys, these are my spooky nails. I will show you. Are they not like incredible? And so typically when I go to embellish, that's where I get my nails done. Miriam is the one that'll do my nails, but sometimes she's not always in. So if she's not, then somebody else will do it. Do I think anywhere in Disney is haunted? Apparently there are stories about like Haunted Mansion being haunted and like maybe Tower of Terror. I don't think anywhere in Disney is haunted, but I can guarantee if like you were in like Tower of Terror or Haunted Mansion after hours, like if you worked there or something, I guarantee there would probably just be some sort of like eerie feeling. This is my favorite question that you guys asked. <laughs> what happened to your spooky ex? I don't really want to like talk about him anymore because that chapter of my life is like 
closed and done. I am so moved on. It feels like a whole lifetime ago, but I just think this question was funny. And in honor of the spooky Q&A, that's a pretty spooky question, and it's a pretty spooky topic. Um, what happened to him? I mean, I don't know. We decided to go no contact, like, when we broke up. We decided it was just, like, for the better, just to, like, not talk to each other. And we literally haven't talked to each other since then. And that was back in, like, March, I think? Yeah, we haven't spoken since then. That man just walked in front of my car. I don't think he knows I'm in here. I'm so confused. I hope, like, I'm also not trying to be, like, mean or anything. I just, I am so, like, happy with where my life is. I'm so happy with, like, who I am now. And I wouldn't have been able to, like, get to this person without the relationship and the breakup. So I'm so incredibly thankful for it. That's in the past. And now I love the present. Oh, that's a fun question. What color signifies Halloween to you? Black, green, purple, or orange? Halloween, I think, is orange for me. I think Halloween is always going to be orange for me. But, like, orange and black. What has helped your mental health the most? I am really struggling, TBH. That's a pretty spooky topic, mental health. I honestly struggled a lot this year with mental health. I tried to like talk about it on my channel a little bit, and right now, like, I think I'm in a really good spot. What has helped me the most is like figuring out what's wrong, and I know that can probably be really hard or really easy for some people, but like really diving deep, like within myself and being like, what's going on? Like, is it my anxiety? Am I depressed? If I'm depressed, like, why am I depressed? Is it because I have no friends? If it's because I have no friends, then let me go and reach out to someone. Like, like I said, I think that sounds a bit easier than it actually is doing it. And then finding things that make you happy. Things that make me happy is like going to get coffee. It's like dressing up and like doing my makeup and like feeling good about myself. Hanging with friends, going to Disney World. Recently, it's been lighting like a candle and reading a book before bed. Just like it could be something so little and focusing on those moments and then trying to do that more. I really do think mental health is all about like getting to know yourself if you want to talk about something spooky let's talk about my anxiety because my anxiety is really 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 bad i literally get like nauseous like if i'm hanging out with a new friend or it gets really bad like if i'm going on a date like a very first date or like meeting someone for the first time or if i feel like people staring at me my anxiety gets so incredibly bad what has like helped me is like learning what triggers that so like i kind of know like when my anxiety is going to act up and then knowing what's going to happen so for me i get really really nauseous which sucks. A big thing for me is water. So now I bring water with me everywhere I go because that really helps me and like calms me down. So just like kind of learning like your triggers and learning what will help that. And also know that like it's okay to be struggling. Like ev I think at this point, everybody struggles with mental health in one way or another. I think everybody's going through it and more people are probably struggling than you realize so just like talking about it to other people you might find that you have a lot in common even me like talking about this to you guys i'm like scared to talk about it and like sometimes that'll happen if you like dm me or comment like on a video that like oh you're struggling with something similar that makes me feel so much better because i just feel like i'm not alone this is a really really spooky question how do you plan on using your entertainment business degree <laughs> such a cool major thank you so much it is actually a really cool major i have no idea what i plan to do Right now, my plan is social media. Next question. My opinion on Boo Bash. So, I didn't go to Boo Bash this year. I just... I don't know. I didn't really feel like going this year. I am okay with that decision of me not going. But I still went to the parks and I still saw all the Halloween decorations and like that was fun for me. What's my scariest dating horror story? I really don't go on a ton of dates and I don't really like to date because it gives me anxiety. One time, this was like a few years ago, I was meeting up with this guy for the very first time and I never ever ever like meet up with guys like from like online or dating apps and stuff. I was just really desperate. So I met up with him. I brought brought my roommate at the time and he brought his friend and we met up at Epcot. I'll just never forget this day. We met up. I immediately wanted to go home. Not necessarily his fault. I just had like realized like what I was doing and I realized that I hate like meeting up with people, especially boys on like a first date. Like that just gives me so much anxiety. So we met up at Epcot and we went on like the ride Figment. And the whole ride, me and my roommate were just trying to figure out a game plan on how we could leave. Because we had like just met up with them and we immediately wanted to leave. And like I feel bad. Like that sounds kind of mean and I'm sorry to the guys. I shouldn't have gone in the first place. My advice to you is never ride 
figment on a double date with two strangers that is like the scariest thing i have probably ever done a lot of questions were asking just like about my dating life am i dating anyone am i dating insert specific person here i am not currently dating anyone like i am single i don't have a boyfriend however i have been dating kind of ish well kind of i i uh, over the summer i was kind of seeing someone and so i have been on like dates really with one person but i am actually just like really happy being single and i'm just like really happy like doing me and i'm not like looking for anything if i ever get like a boyfriend i definitely would let you guys know when the time is right but I definitely also am going to tease you guys and do the whole like soft launch thing so i hope you're excited for that whenever if ever that were to happen next question what is my favorite horror nights house i think my favorite horror nights house is the pumpkin one what is it called wicked growth realm of the pumpkin i think that's my favorite house this year because that's the one that for some reason i've just done the most i'm like just the most comfortable in it and i love pumpkins even though it's like scary and like gross pumpkins i do love pumpkins last question because i kind of have to go to class i'm kind of running late for my class because i'm filming this it's fine we're fine am i doing vlogmas this year so i don't want to promise you guys anything but I'm thinking about it. I would love to do Vlogmas. So I honestly think I might like attempt Vlogmas. And then if it doesn't work out, well, we could have all seen that one coming. Wait, one more question. What am I gonna be for Halloween? I don't know how I didn't answer this one yet. I have a couple of like different like Halloween event things I'm gonna go to. I do have a video that's gonna be uploaded on Halloween that like you'll be able to see like all my costumes and stuff. It's a fun video, I think you'll like it. None of them have come yet, so I don't know if they're gonna work out realistically. I'm gonna be a Polly Pocket, Olivia Rodrigo from the Good For You like music video, and then I'm either gonna be a cowgirl or a vampire, depending on what can like come in on time and like what i have because we have five days until halloween that's it that's my spooky q a thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed i had so much fun answering these questions i did want to mention my case is from case Spy, and i have a discount code if you want to be spooky too or really ideally you probably need to start getting ready for christmas but you can go to the link casefy.com slash emilyenchanted if you want to save 15% off of a case by case just putting that out there i hope you guys are having a super fun halloween week and i do hope you have a very safe halloween or halloween weekend or whatever you're doing this week but i love you guys stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye